Right now, an accused killer finally sits behind bars. Officers found and arrested 24 year old Chelsea Ship early this morning in Central Texas. She'd been on the run for several days. Tonight, she's charged with the murder of 16 year old Caitlin Stone in Finette. Sheriff's deputies say that ship fatally shot Stone Saturday afternoon. Yeah, and tonight we have a better idea of what led to the murder thanks to court documents that we obtained. 12 News reporter Simona Barca is live tonight. Simona spent the day digging into this case. Simona. Yeah, Jordan, Letitia, I'm here at the Jefferson County Jail where Chelsea ship was transported earlier this morning from Liberty Hill, just north of Austin. Law enforcement arrested Ship at her home in Liberty Hill, Texas at 3.40 a.m. this morning. They've had a warrant for her arrest in hand since Tuesday, but they've been looking for her since they discovered the crime scene Sunday evening. Ship is the second suspect arrested for the murder of 16-year-old Caitlin Stone of Vider. Investigators say they found Stone's body at Cody Arnold's home Sunday evening after a friend tipped them off. According to a probable cause affidavit, suspect Cody Arnold was in a romantic relationship with both the suspect, Chelsea Ship and the victim, Caitlin Stone. And according to the same affidavit, Stone may have been pregnant. There have been a lot of changes and developments, so let's take a look at the timeline. On Saturday, Ship supposedly shot Stone, who was living with Cody Arnold. Sunday morning, Ship confessed to a friend who then called the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office later that evening. Based on that confession, investigators then went to Cody Arnold's home, where they found Caitlin's body as the witnesses described. 22-year-old Arnold was arrested at his home and charged with murder. His bond was set at $1 million. On Tuesday, law enforcement issued an arrest warrant for 24-year-old Chelsea Ship of Winnie. And this morning at 3.40 a.m., Ship was arrested north of Austin and brought back to Jefferson County. She's been charged with murder and her bail is also set at $1 million. Now we've reached out to Jefferson County Sheriff and the District Attorney's Office. They've declined to comment because this is an ongoing investigation. And of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more. I'm live at the Jefferson County Jail, Simona Barca, 12 News.